A 24-year-old garbage man feels embarrassed whenever he talks about his job, even though he genuinely loves what he does for work and can see himself doing it for years to come. This 20-something Redditor is part of a wider trend of Gen Zers going into blue-collar work at much higher rates than generations before them. In fact, a 2024 survey by workforce analysis company Intelligent.com found that one-third of Gen Z workers plan to pursue a blue-collar career, and one in six already in a white-collar job are thinking of switching to a blue-collar job. There's lots of reasons for this, of course, but the main ones are the ones you expect. The prohibitive cost of education, the cutthroat white-collar job market, and the rise of AI. In this Gen Zers case, he knew that college wasn't for him, so he went to commercial driving school instead, which led to his current job of driving a garbage truck. And he's genuinely happy in the job. He's got great benefits, solid pay, and a position with staying power. Everyone always needs a garbage man after all, right? But he can't shake a sense of embarrassment, and it's really not hard to see why. After decades of being told that college is the only path to success, our culture has long looked down on blue-collar jobs, regarding them as unsophisticated or low class. But these attitudes need to change because blue collar jobs are vitally important and often highly skilled. But even if they weren't, all work is honorable and worthy of respect no matter how menial it may seem. And the bottom line is that blue collar work is literally what keeps our world spinning. We don't tend to see this much here in the States because unions have been so weakened by decades of terrible government policy. But in other countries, when say sanitation or transportation workers go on strike, those countries tend to grind to a halt, which just shows how vital this work really is. Here in the U.S., these attitudes about trade workers not being as prestigious as those who sit in a cubicle and make spreadsheets all day have also resulted in crisis-level worker shortages in the trades, which has made these jobs even more lucrative than they used to be, by the way. The bottom line is that Garbage Man is a vitally important job we all depend on that is worthy of pride. And if it keeps the bills paid in a way that doesn't make you miserable, well, you're already way ahead of most people, no matter how fancy their job title.